Here's how to upload photos from your Picasa to an online service so you can create a photo book or things like that. First of all, you have to select the photos you want to send to the service. Then you click File from the menus, upper left hand corner, and then Order Prints. And then once you're here into Order Prints, you can choose from any one of the services that they work with. So for example, today I'm going to choose Shutterfly. I sign in with my username and password and create a, an album name up there. I'm just going to call this Test. Click OK. And my photos are being uploaded. Once the photos have been uploaded, you will see a corresponding folder or album as they call them in Shutterfly in your Shutterfly account. If I don't use Picasa and I want to upload photos, I can click the Upload button here in Shutterfly and then choose my files using their upload system. So I'd have to click Choose, I'd have to go to Libraries, in this case I'm Windows 7, I'd go to Libraries, Pictures, find the photos I want, click on them, and just add one by one as many as I can, and then at the bottom create an album and start and then it would upload the photos you selected. Once you have uploaded photos to your service, and again this case is Shutterfly, then you can order prints, you can create photo books, cards, all these different options. We're going to create a photo book today, so I'm going to click photo book. We're just going to pick this particular book here. Then it comes up and asks me what size of book do I want. So let's do an 8 by 11 book. And lastly, it gives me some options for templates. So let's do the photo template. And I'll say select this style. It gives me a price, an approximate price. The system takes a few minutes to load. And then it asks me again, where are my pictures? So if I've already uploaded my pictures, I don't have to do get pictures. I can just click my Shutterfly pictures here. And then I can choose any of the photos I would like. And just as in any selection process, if I hold down the control key, I can add multiple photos. And with Shutterfly, I can even pick from multiple uh, sources. So I've already selected five pictures here. I can go over and select another photo from another album and then add it to my photo book. And I can come back and add more photos at any time I want. And be sure to read the tips. If this is the first time you've done this, read the tips so you can get an idea of how to work with these systems, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to close the tips and you'll see that at the bottom of the screen it has the pictures that I've uh, already loaded and there's a button here to add more pictures if you'd like. Now once I get ready to go it tells me drop pictures here. So I'm going to select a photo and just drag it up and it automatically puts it in the spot for me and it's pre-selected, as you can see from the left-hand side, it's pre-selected this particular layout with the photo kind of centered with an opportunity to put text below it. And to add the text, I simply click on one of the text boxes and I can type whatever text I want, including make changes to the font and how it looks if you choose. If you don't use one of the boxes, it just simply won't print. You won't get a green box like that. And if you want to change something about the picture, you can drag it around a little bit or click it to edit it. And in this case, you can crop by just using the, the squares here. Or I can add different effects. I can make it black and white. I can fade it. Uh, if it's accidentally rotated, you can rotate it back the correct way here. Remember to click the Save button periodically so that you don't lose the information that you're working on. And keep in mind, since this is on the Shutterfly website, you can work on this project from any computer that's connected to the Internet, as long as you have your username and password. So there's page one. If I want to get to the next page, then I'm going to click here on the Next Page button, and it's going to pull up the next page. So to pull in another photo, I'll come down here to my tray, this is called your tray, and I can drag another photo in. Now, if I don't want this particular uh, setup, maybe I want a full page, then I can click here on the left hand side and I can choose different 
format. So I'm going to say I want a single picture and I want it to be full page. And so I chose single picture with this button here, number one. If I did two, then it would give me an opportunity to make a spot for a second photo. But I'm going to do one photo and I want to do a full page. So now I have a full page photo. Make sure if you're doing full page photos that you have high enough resolution pictures, especially as you get into the bigger books. So let's go over here to the facing page and I'm going to drag another photo in there. And this time I want to put three photos on that page. So from my little tools on the left, I'm going to click three and I'm going to look through their, their different designs here and let's say I want to do this particular format here. So it put a picture there, but I want this guy to be in the lower right hand corner and I need to edit that because his head got cut off. So I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to move the crop up and then I'm going to pull in another photo, put it there and then lastly pull in this photo and that's how you create your Shutterfly photo books. So use these buttons down here to navigate. Use the tools on the far left to create different layouts. And these numbers up here correspond to how many photos you want per page. And then remember to click the Save button often so that you save the changes that you've already created. And again, you can work on this from any computer in the world. And when you're finished, you can click the Order button and order as many copies of this as you would like.